you may be aware that Deb Canada is making the one liter ABHR product in a non technical grade formulation. So the you know, regarded safe for use uh, pharmaceutical grade ethanol. We are getting a fairly limited supply of that into the warehouse. And so we've made the decision rather than trying to either wait for us to have enough product to convert everyone or run the risk of running out again, that we wanted to prioritize the placement of this, uh, of this product. So we've made the decision to prioritize the product to our emergency departments and our pediatric hospitals and units. The reason that we've done that is we really felt that probably the highest risk for ingestion, either intentional or accidental, would be in those two populations. So that will be starting to roll out um, starting this week. As those cartridges are filled, the warning posters can come down in our emergency departments and our peds places, and the labels will come off those dispensers. The good news is, in general, it was that we have wide availability of a USP grade ethanol available, and I think we have very little of the tech grade ethanol product left. So where you still have one liter wall mounts uh, that are not NEDs, that is likely a tech grade ethanol and will be labeled as such. When we have adequate supply in the warehouse that we can convert to the other product, we will be doing so as quickly as possible. And as we have more information about when we're getting what, we'll make some decisions about where to move next. So that's ABHR, that's the update on ABHR. You've likely noticed that you're not getting the same kind of disinfectant or disinfectant wipes that you have previously been receiving from CPSM. There is worldwide uh, supply chain issues and, and challenges around obtaining these products. So what we've done is uh, CPSM has worked very diligently to obtain supply of product that we would consider to be effective for COVID-19 and other organisms of interest in our facilities. But you're likely not seeing what you're used to seeing. And you're very likely not seeing any ready to dispense, um, ready to use wipe products. So there's a number of um, different products that are coming out. Again, just to reassure you, they've all been reviewed with Linen and Environmental Services and IPC. They're all safe and effective to use. They just aren't what you're used to. They do come in different, um, there's poor products, there's flip top products. Um, and for each of those, there is a product sub notice that comes from CPSM and there's general guidance documents on the COVID webpage from IPC about how to safely use these products. Probably the most important thing to note is that these products are ready to use. They're called an RTU product, meaning you should never dilute them. Uh, if you dilute them, you will reduce the effectiveness of the product. So please use them in a concentrate product as they are, as they are sent to you. We, we do think that um, probably the uh, containers that used to have wipes in them are likely the most uh, efficient and convenient way to use some of these new products with a dry wipe. So we sent out some information last week or earlier this week, just asking people to save and clean those containers for reuse. Um, one important point there is that it should only be the same type of product. So if it's an accelerated hydrogen peroxide, only use an accelerated hydrogen peroxide. If it's a bleach, only use bleach and, and so on and so forth. So um, that's really the update on those two things today. Um, Two take homes, you will start to see pharmaceutical grade ethanol in the one liter wall mounts over time as soon as we're more assured of what our stock coming in will be. Uh, two, all the disinfectants that you're getting are safe to use and efficacious against COVID-19. And I think that's all I have today. Together, we do amazing things every day.